We're looking at negotiation in the context of buying or selling a financial planning practice. However, these concepts can be applied to any two-party negotiation. So let's take a seller. A seller has an aspiration price and they have a BATNA. BATNA stands for Best Alternative to a Negotiated Agreement. Then you've got the buyer. The buyer has an aspiration buying price and a BATNA. It's flipped around. Now a deal is only going to occur in the zone in the middle where the two overlap. Now this may seem overly simplistic, however it's critical that before you go into a negotiation you actually know what your aspiration price is and clearly can articulate to yourself what your BATNA position is. The stronger your BATNA position, the greater your leverage is in any negotiation. The more options you have, the greater your negotiating position. An improved BATNA improves your confidence. It protects you from accepting terms that are not in your best interest. And from rejecting terms that would be in your best interest. If the future of your business hung on one negotiation with one party, how critical is it going to be for you? How nervous are you going to be about the outcome? How much better would it be if you had a number of alternatives? You'd be a lot more relaxed. You'd be a lot more confident. We've also seen deals fall apart where parties have gone into a negotiation with a let's see what happens type approach. They've gone in with no real anchors. And the result has been confusion, anxiety, and indecision. Our advice to both vendors and buyers going into a negotiation is know your assumptions and verify. Know your aspirations and know your BATNA. Work to improve your BATNA position to improve your options and alternatives.